Bassett in August, four starts, 4 0, 0 0.69, two runs or less in each start. Lead pitcher, last med pitcher to have a streak like that was DeGrom in 2018 and 19. And he gets the double play ball. <laughs> Lindor to McNeil and on the first to make it 22 grounded in into double plays for Brendan Rodgers this year. And Bassett's got his first two outs of the night. Curveball hit out to right, and Marte is right there waiting for it. Blackman retired, and so are the Rockies. Mets come to bat at the bottom of the first, no score. Chad Cool, when he's on, he has a terrific slider, and the ERA has gotten elevated. Here's the 0 1, and he gets in a reach for a slider, and it's an easy play out and left for Connor Joe. So a good return for Chad Cool. He walked Lindor. Other than that, no harm in the first. How many times do you think he shakes in the course of a six or seven inning outing? I think we have someone counting tonight. Slider popped up, and Beatty calling for it. And that retires the side. Another easy inning for Bassett. One hit, one left. No score in the second. When your weight shifts, the plate shifts, and they can sense where you're putting that weight and how you're using it on your foot. 3-2 on Naquin and Chad Cool strikes out Naquin to begin the second inning. Some guys are just enjoying almost the feel of a wiffle ball there. Oh, great slider again. And that's back-to-back -back strikeout. So McNeil goes down. It won't matter. It's pop-up right side. Brennan Rogers. Will make the catch, and it's a one, two, three second, including a couple of punch outs for Chad Cool. Winter Bernard hits it sharply oh. off the glove of Beatty, but he recovers with a bare hand and throws it out. Beatty's sticking with it and got a fortuitous bounce right back up into his mitt. Oh, the ball came up and got the heel of his glove, rolled up his shoulder, and Gary, very fortuitous. One two coming and McMahon late on the fastball and Bassett has a strikeout to end the inning first strikeout of the night for Bassett in his first one two three inning. Second home game for Brad Beatty he did get a hit in his city field debut last night first pitch from cool. It's a fastball rock deep to right field Richick's back onto the track looks up it's gone. Brad Beatty has his first city field home run a line drive shot into the Mets bullpen. And the Mets have a one nothing lead in the bottom of the third inning. And this is a double play ball Rogers good feed to Iglesias and that's exactly what Chad needed. Well he's, he's allowed got to more. come back 30 it'll be some point in May. I have to hold off on that thought. This is bounced to Iglesias. We'll have Buddy in a moment one nothing on the home run by Brett Beatty. Well, the Rockies have a runner in scoring position for the first time, and Bassett's had Iglesias' number. Iglesias just one for 13 against him. Double play ball to McNeil. The flip to Lindor, and back to first for the 4 6 3 double play. That's turn their second of the night behind Bassett to get him through the top of the fourth. 1 0 Mets. Managers are here. They're managing Terry Collins, Bobby Valentine. Jill, we we went out last night as Lindor goes down. Good job by Cool to get his third strikeout. On the back foot slider. Two outs. Fourth strikeout for Cool. Ground ball right at Crone. So Cool, a couple of strikeouts. He did give up a base hit to Pete Alonso. He's through the fourth. It's one nothing New York. Honest moments. Do you think that Mike disagrees with you? Well, Grounded to shorter, two hopper for Lindor. Side retired. I don't know what to say about that. You were pretty vindicated. And two out. Starling Marte will be the batter. One two coming. And Marte lines one in the right center field for a base hit. Around third comes Canna. That ball will go back to the wall. Canna will score. McCann right behind him. And McCann will score. The throw goes to third. Marte slides in with a 2 1 triple. And the Mets have a 3 0 lead. Two on, no one out. And Brendan Rodgers coming up. 
Brendan hits this ball a ton to center field. Nimmo turns his back. Look it up. It's off the very top of the wall. One run is scored. McMahon read it well. He's coming home. It is a two run double for Brendan Rodgers. He crushed that. That's a that's the perfect view of it. So it's a double. CJ had a base hit to right his last time up. Crone with a base hit to right to tie up the ball game. So the Rockies down three nothing. What a counter punch here at the top of the six. Brendan Rodgers two run double and C.J. Crone working the ball again the other way ties it up. They were hitting 188 against Chris with runners in scoring position 135 since the All Star break. Curve ball popped up Alonzo coming down hoping for a play. And puts it away to retire the side but not before the Rockies get even big hits by Rodgers and Crone and it's 3 3 in the sixth. Mark Canna comes to the plate who has been so clutch of late been driving in runs big runs and Mark Rockets oh. one deep left center field headed back toward the wall that ball is off the fence and the score comes rough here comes McNeil the relay throw by Rodgers to the plate McNeil is out Canna doubles in the go ahead run McNeil trying to score as well but Brendan Rodgers threw it on the money to Elias Diaz who got the tag down for the second out. But Mark Canna comes through again with another big extra base hit to drive in the go ahead run to make it four to three New York. Well Chris Bassett's still in there for the eighth inning and Bass uh, Blackman again goes the other way and Lindor's throw well too late and Blackman's got another hit to the left side. Buck Showalter taking Bassett out and bringing in Michael Gibbons in a one run game in the eighth. And Iglesias is hit by the pitch, a first pitch slider that plumps him in the arm, and that will load the bases for Randall Gritchick. And now in the whole world of trouble, it's Michael Gibbons. And Gritchick waves at the high fastball for strike three, overmatched for the second out. We'll see if Elias Diaz can come through. 0 for three tonight. 2 2. Line drive, right center field. This could empty all the bases. Two runs have scored. Here comes Iglesias home, and the Rockies have taken the lead on a bases clearing double by Elias Diaz. And Ruff pulls one on the ground off the backhand of McMahon and into left field. I don't think he ever got a glove on that. I think it hit his foot. That's just bad hands on his heel. So now Canna, he comes up with the tying runs on base in the eighth. And Canna pulls one past McMahon and down the line. Rough around third, he'll score. McNeil being waved around third. And he will score without a throw in the game is tied. Mark Canna comes through again. A big two run double to get the men's even in the eighth. One and one on Lindor. And that's a line drive caught by left fielder Sam Hilliard. What a play, what a gutsy play. All right, see if Pete can do it. So, two out of two on, and here's Pete Alonzo. And Pete hits it on the ground toward the whole base hit. Box. Mets make it two straight over the Rockies as Pete Alonso comes through and the Mets have won the ball game in the bottom of the ninth inning.